guys welcome to placement drive welcome to the lead code series uh, today we are going to see problem number 14 which is the longest common prefix uh, so basically basically the question is uh, write a function to find the longest common prefix amongst the array of strings uh, there is nothing but um, see in this array prefix means from the start and suffix means from the end so from the start how many letters are common among these array array elements here fl is common in every prefix of the word so we should return fl and here starting letter is d here is r and here is c there is no common prefix so we should we should return an empty string so this is basically the question so let's see uh, what are the logic we can use to compute the results so basically uh, first logic you may think is the brute force logic which is nothing but we just iterate into the uh, array we just iterate into the array and find compare the first element of every word first so in this example we will compare okay f f f every element has f so we have another answer string for uh, computing where we'll add f again we'll see the second element like l l and l now we will add other and again l to the answer and we will add o o and i which is not matching so we will break and fl will be put but it's okay for three word array but what happens if the array has a thousand elements and there are uh, more than uh, uh, 10 to 12 letters in each word so it will take much much time right we should compare everything and it will it will, it will go above n square complexity so it's not very feasible so i'll share an easy trick to solve this uh, for this trick we should basically know how sorting works among uh, among alphabets we all know how sorting works among numbers with uh, numbers as its own uh, thing so one two three four five six it's nothing but if we sort the smaller element will be smaller number will be on the left and larger element on the right which is similar to which is uh, alphabetic for alphabets also it's similar only but here it follows some some rules for example if you take a b b a b a c a what happens if we sort this first it will check the first element every element is a but so it will leave as it is again it's the second element b b c and there is nothing so basically how sorting works is this a will be the first element first in the sorting ascending order so this will be first then again third element if you compare b is there there is no b here so this will come here this will come here and this is how sorting works in alphabets first it will compare this second it will compare the second letter and again it will compare the third letter so this is how sorting works so do you, do you understand the pattern so basically there will be groups for example if you see the first letter these four it's an a group and if you see second letter b so these two are one group and if you see the third letter c this alone is an one group so that's how uh, string works I will, I will show another example how sorting works and why are we sorting basically why are we sorting is for example if there is another element fl here uh, how, uh, if you come if you start comparing um, f with uh, everything l with everything and again if we can when come to o if you compare here here and here when you go here there will be no there, there will be no element called o so there will be a string out, uh, out of bound index index in, there is no index there is no third index in this uh, uh, this string right so we that uh, we uh, we will get an ex exception so if we sort this f will come to the top and now we are going to use this string for comparison i'll explain how for example, if we sort this, what happened? F will become first, and uh, F L O, F L O, F L I. I is the I is smaller than O. Uh, I comes before O, so it will come here. And again, flow, flower, and flow. There are two extra elements here, so flower will come 
here that's all this is the sorted uh, sorted array and now if we just compare fl first element and the last element fl is common so the output is fl you may ask uh, why are you comparing just to first and last why are we not comparing we are leaving these two basically for this logic it doesn't matter because that's why we are sorting if we sort the if we sort and specific array in this group first uh, if if the the most different uh, the most different uh, strings will be on the first and the last so that's how this works uh, i will i will show another example for example if we add uh, add another element for example like uh, dog dog here what happens if we sort a d comes first right so dog will come first because these will form as a group because they are starting letters f so if you put a different element like dog it will come at the first and if you, if you compare first and last what is the answer there is no common thing so answer will be empty string that's all what happens if we put a uh, zebra zebra and again if you sort what happens zebra will come at the last see this group is not affected right now if we compare first and last is there any common things no so the empty there is empty string so these words doesn't matter that's how this logic works can you guys understand okay i will give an another uh, another element another uh, example if can use frog frog will where frog will come frog will come at the last because fr so see this group will not at all affect that's how sorting works if you put any different elements now if you compare fl and f f o f r o g the common element is f right that's all there is no need to compare use these elements because that's how sorting works sorting uh, makes the strings into groups so if we take the first and the last uh, element of the array that's enough you take your own example what whatever example you like if you you take it and you you use this logic the answer will be correct only just another point the basic uh, another basic need for sorting is another basic need for sorting is see here if you add an another uh, element like fl if after sorting what happens fl will come first f will come first right f will come first f l i t will come second second f l o will come third and then flower will come right but if you observe it the the first the uh, the common pre common prefix will not exceed the first length of the first element right we if we if we compare only two in two um, uh, integers in first and last that is enough because the logic of common prefix is it should cont it should be in every string if a first string is only two letters the longest prefix the maximum longest prefix can be two letters only can you guys understand for example in this a a a a b b a c c a b b whatever whatever hell it is the most common longest prefix which is which can be there is a because if a a, a will not be there in a simple simple as that so that's why we are sorting the another great advantage of, of sorting is we can use this length of this uh, first element to uh, as our uh, looping logic maximum we are going to check is the length the maximum indexes we are going to check is the length of the first uh, element after sorting that's all let's get into the solution first what we should need to do we need to sort so how will you sort it is very easy in java nothing but uh, arrays dot sort of oh, s that's all after sorting what should do we should compare the first and the last element let's first take the first and the last element so um, 
string first equal to s of zero right and string string last is equal to what s of s dot n minus one which is the last one then we are going to compare so while we'll take the smallest uh, as the uh, range so while i less than um, first dot length we'll just define i and i equal to zero and we also need a count to count the common indexes while what we should do we should compare the first and the last element if first of i equal to equal to last of i is right right okay it's a string sorry his string see first dot character at i and last dot character at i we will just compare the both and if we equal what we should do we should increase the count if not that's all we, we, that, that's enough let's we just come out so after that what we should to return we are going to return output return if count is equal to equal to zero if there is no common element what we should return we will return empty string this is just a ternary operator i will explain uh, after that if 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 it is not equal to zero what will return we will return the first dot substring of zero comma c it's nothing but i'll just explain ternary operator nothing but this is the logic if it is true the one which is after the question mark will run if this is false one that is after the colon will run that's a ternary operator and substring is nothing but first dot substring zero comma c is for example if first is a uh, flow so first is flow for example first is flow zero comma c now c is two zero comma two is nothing but fl that will return that's basically substring so let's see uh, run and see if it's right or not okay i found the problem for string there is no need to use brackets so uh, that's uh, for array there is no need to use brackets so this uh, length is fine so this if you run all answer with that What's the problem here? Okay, okay. Can you guys spot what mistake I did now? Yeah, basically, I initiated the loop with i. What happens while loop? While loop, we should iterate. So, it will iterate every time after the code executes inside. Yes, now it will be correct. Okay, so guys, let's submit and see. Yeah, it's hundred percent correct. Bit hundred percent zero millisecond. So I hope you guys understand. If you have any doubt in this code, please free free to free free to ask me. You can just take a screenshot of it, and uh, you guys can try. If you have any doubt, please leave it in the comment. If you have any other suggestion for me about on what question I should do next, uh, feel free to comment. I will just I will respond to everything. Thank you so much.